guys, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. I decided to make a series on um, luxury purchases, especially in terms of how I see them as an investment and just some, some of my tips on how to minimize maybe amount of uh, items that you have in your wardrobe, make them work for your lifestyle and how I personally do uh, take these investment decisions when I decide to spend a bit more towards the item. Uh, I have a little bit of experience here as I have been a luxury personal shopper for a while so I know what people are going for so I have a little bit of like more specific knowledge in the area but as for me I'm not like super into luxury brands as you probably know I just go for things that I personally enjoy if I like the color if I like the feel if they work well for me if it lasts long term if it holds the value very well I'll go for it in the end it's just about your enjoyment and I feel like these days we all spend so much more on other things uh, for the house for you know traveling education you know experiences investments of course so if you also don't want to spend so much money and hold it in your wardrobe give my video a thumbs up and i hope this will uh, help other viewers to find some valuable tips that i'm gonna share here and to start with i just want to give you uh, an idea of how it all started why i decided to uh, downsize at one point i uh, opened a spreadsheet and i put all the things that i owned less expensive and more expensive in, in the spreadsheet trying to figure out the value of uh, the total items uh, yeah i would say like this is a lot of time to spend uh and what do you get from this but actually when i scrunched the data then i rated each item from like one to five if it was so worth it i put an approximate uh number of times that i wore it for the past year and then the next year i would redo it and i would do it again and then i would add it up and figure out the cost per wear situation for each item and this gave me a really good understanding of uh, where money works for me and where it does not so I decided for myself I don't want that amount just to sit in my wardrobe yes yeah, some of the items are good uh, still good for resale like the top brands Chanel and Hermes we'll talk about them later and uh, for me i just decided i don't want to have so much if i can't use it somebody else can use it i'd rather invest my money in something else in stocks you know uh, there's so many ways to do it but we today we're just gonna talk about about fashion items and luxury fashion items basically so first if you follow me for some time you probably seen me wearing a vintage hermes kelly i bought it uh, 2016 uh, as I was expecting my first child I thought it was a good uh, sensible decision and it was the right moment to have it then I kind of got tired of it and I still uh, want new things so uh, at some point I decided that I wanted to change the leather and I wanted to change the size and of course uh, that meant that I would put it on the market to sell it I was looking to change it to a smaller size Kelly in like more textured leather or um, to a Birkin in a specific color at that time I didn't find it but then I still uh, decided you know if I made a decision on like I, I don't want it anymore I, I put it on sale and it was successful so that was back in uh, May last year and at the same time I made two purchases so I got this uh, puzzle a little bit of a puzzle bag many of you asked me where I found this combination this was at Harrods I think that the only ones who would do this combination uh, most of the people probably preferred it with uh, white hardware and this was like instant I remember I was just like walking down the uh, streets in a nice bridge um, there is a few places where they actually can take your bag for consignment I actually ended up selling it to a colleague who was also a stylist she sourced it for her client so uh, the sale actually went through for my own channels but then when I, I put it on a consignment I walked out and I was like okay <laughs> I'll go and get something else and I think it was just like so liberating such you know like you felt I felt great I felt like 
I don't, ha I don't have to have this anymore. I really wanted to change it up and I tried traveling with the Kelly. I thought it was good, but not as good I as I think this is. Uh, I love like when I can wear it on, you know, a crossbody and I have two children, so uh, I have to run after them a lot. Uh, this doesn't bump into my body. It's body friendly. When you sit in an airport or in the airplane, it can be next to you and and uh, you can actually fold it up. Uh, the size is uh, small, I think. Uh, so the medium with the bigger size, but also mini. I think this is just perfect. I do take it cross seasonally, but mostly for uh, more summery occasions and whenever I travel to city breaks, um, I think it works so, so well for me. Love the color. My first design handbag was Chloe and it was the same color and <laughs> called hardware. I think though you, do, you will have to be a bit more careful with it because it doesn't have the feet but um, leather is more durable it's not like buttery soft leather it's more textured a bit like Hermes Togo so the rating rating uh, that I would put in my list would be very high at the same time I also um, was browsing uh, Loewe and I realized that I didn't have a cute straw bag in my wardrobe and I did want to get that rounded uh, Loewe bucket that was like so trending i saw some girls in london walking with like jeans uh, blazer and that bag and i thought this is so chic but that round shape didn't suit me for some reason i usually go for a flatter shape and when i saw this i saw it first on some bloggers and i thought this could work but i was between these this one and there's another one that is more like a clutch that you can wear as a clutch and uh, as a tote and I'm so glad I decided this one. So the benefits is that it's not super big and when I travel I actually put it in my suitcase. So I usually travel with two suitcases. One would be for like all the like things uh, folded in clothes or I put it in a second compartment of my suitcase where I have more room and it's just perfect. I, just, I thought the shape is a bit more fragile um, and it's not big enough for just like holding all the beach items but I loved when I was on holiday I could wear it in the daytime and evening time such a great size and also within a city so it's not for like towels and you know like all the like sun creams and spare sun um, you know swimwear but uh, for just like summer summer vibes it's finished nicely with the leather so it gives you that finished look while like normal cheaper straw totes they don't really do that uh, the previous one i had was from zara so it would serve for the beach looked cute and some outfits but this definitely is so good another bag also <laughs> summer bag when they were first out i thought it would be so cool i like that it is soft it fits a lot and uh, the shape is flat i got it i think it was earlier that year in february or so i thought i needed that push of color touch of color in my wardrobe i get a lot of like black items for working out uh believe it or not at the moment i usually go uh, use it as a gym bag but i don't put like so many things inside so it just has my elastic bands sometimes my water and for storing it i would hang it on a hanger and i put it in my hang section in my closet i don't keep it folded like this i also took it traveling with me so for like minimal capsule wardrobe i think it's a smart decision to have a few summer bags and different shapes and different textures and colors so i would have like a couple of shirts and a couple of bottoms with, which would be like denim black or white and with two summer bags i could create different moods different outfits uh, i also like how sporty it is i really love it i think it's a little bit like pricey for what it is if i wouldn't go for this if there was another option that i saw from you know a high street in a similar color i would definitely go for it uh, this is a bit more statement but i think it's good I'm not sure if it's gonna be really good like resale value because probably it is um, you know uh, with the age uh, the wear and tear would be more but um, yeah it's it's purely fun it's definitely not like super investment bag just purely 
for fun. This probably would be the most hyped item of last year and the year before, uh, Hermes shipper sandals. And this was purchased by my team in uh, end of year before, end of December 2021. I got hold of it in uh, January, basically because my size is less rare and there was not so like so much demand for uh, my personal from my personal shop, uh, shopping clients for this size is 37. It does come quite small, but when I see it also, it just lifts up my mood so much. It is such a pretty blue color. I think I would not purchase it at the resale price. I'm not that much into this style. I'm more of a girly girl, but because my feet are not like super large and because this is such a girly color and this is such my color, blue and suede, I love everything that is blue, I went for it. I did I wear it a lot? I did wear it quite a bit and I live in Abu Dhabi so technically I can wear it a lot more than people who will live in somewhere colder. I did take it traveling with me and this actually looks new now because I had it uh, cleaned professionally at the Cobbler. Cobbler is one of the best companies I think here in the UAE or the best company because I used some others before and the service was not always so great. So yeah, I think I'm happy with this item as long as it does bring me joy. Is it the best investment um, decision? No, definitely not, especially if you don't get it at the store price. Uh, but if you're Hermes lover or you think for some reason this is something that is for you, go for it. Alternatively, just go for Birkenstock. I think Birkenstock would be much better uh, investment decision. I had once when I was pregnant, I wear them so, so much. They were the best. This, I think, maybe because it's a bit... Uh, like not big enough for me it's a bit less comfortable than Birkenstock although in summer I was uh, when I was traveling to I was in Spain and a few days I walked all day in this so it never never had any issues but I never go for the shoes that uh, would slightly you know give me any like bad feeling in my feet I I think this is so important. I never compromise on the comfort on my feet. If it's slightly like irritating, I'm not gonna wear it. I'd rather wear, you know, trainers in, in summer uh, for a long distance walking. I think it's just best or flip flops or something that is proven not to, you know, give me any anything on my on my feet. Basically, another pair of Air Max shoes. This time it is um, a loafer black and why it was incidental accidental purchase i did not really plan it uh, when i arrived in london it was may and i did some street style photography and i had my navy loafers with me in a dark darker light of london it worked horrendously it didn't look nice with my outfits unfortunately because most of the things were black so I was like, okay, you need a black loafer. And I didn't have any other ones. So when I went, I was just like browsing at uh, Selfridges. And on that day I got these and I got a pair of jeans that I also really love. Uh, it would be my um, next item on my list. So this was um, accidental, but I think they are really great investment now. Um, I think it was pure luck that I went for them and maybe because you know luxury brands they do these timeless items so I think this would be my pair of London shoes I'm not wearing them as much at the moment just for some outfits uh, the leather is really soft though and I also sized up I think at Hermes I need to go for the full 38 now uh, the combination though is really good and I love wearing them with these uh, with these trousers and with my new Hermes bag uh, that you'll see in the end of this video <laughs> so keep watching uh, probably it would be as good as the uh, Chanel flat I have a Chanel flat that is 10 years old I think in 10 years old it still would be valid so in terms of spending the money and investment item it's really good uh, now I just wanted to give you a disclaimer and tips on a luxury shopping just so you understand why I'm like quite liberal I, I 
I think it's true for most women, they spend their own money on luxury uh, shopping, same as me, but if it's not the case for you, if you got something as gift or like your husband, your other, you know, your partner gave you something and or you purchase it using like his money uh, you will not be as liberated probably to sell it without like his uh, or her permission so i think it's just so much easier to do it in a way that you either spend your budget for it or that's why like i'm so liberal with what i get and i'm not really super attached to it something that i got as a gift i have a one handbag i had two before on one was said you know like i'll better sell it i'll get something else uh on the other handbag that i got as a gift i know that i he'll be a little bit like upset if i'll sell it it's really good it's a door saddlebag still love it still wear it a lot if you want to avoid that my tip is agree on some like budget let's say like here is what i think uh you can spend as a gift and then you can spend it on your items this worked for me in the past and you don't have this you know attachment because i think women should choose what works for them and if somebody gives you this as a gift they might not always get the right thing so for me in the past uh i had a situation where i got you know like budget as a gift and I spent it for the roll bag, which was not super expensive and he would not buy it himself because I, you have to buy it online. I got a designer jumper, I got some new jeans, uh, then the rest was, you know, like spent on like some beauty treatments and other things. So I think that's, that's the tip if you you don't want to be super attached to those things. Something that I tend to be more obsessed about these days are really good, versatile designer luxury items that I can wear, like clothes. Uh, so one of my really best purchases this year is this uh, crotchet Prada skirt. It just happens to be something that I can wear so much and I loved taking it on holiday. Also like so like easy to wear but with the you know with a nice low that is not super big for me that's not super big and i just like feel cool when i wear it maybe for me this actually would be a good investment because i wear it a lot so if you divide it cost per wear uh, you get a really easy number i definitely wore it more than 10 times so i think it was around 800 or 900 in uh, in pounds uh, divided by 10 is already 100 maybe um, probably if i wear it uh, more longer this year um, it was easy easy to maintain it as well it has the inside inside skirt that's why i also got a white shirt that i'm not going to show you here but you see it in many of my videos so yeah <laughs> for some people i think clothes are much better investments than some of the you know generic bags like by basic luxury bags even for me like i considered chanel bags so much but when i actually own them they don't bring me as much you know joy uh, in wearing them because i don't happen to wear them as as much when i go out i usually have some other things that i also want to wear uh, so no big attachment here in terms of clothes another few items that were really best purchases this year are premium jeans by a gold you've seen them in many of my uh, reels and videos they just fit perfectly and a gray jumper that you also saw many many times uh, it was not super expensive it was from om girls but a net a porter is kind of luxury shopping website so i consider this as a luxury purchase and um yeah when i saw it and i tried it on i just i just knew that i could wear it so much so cost per wear definitely a really good number and towards the end of this video another few purchases that are probably my favorite uh, of the year Bottega Veneta sandals okay I think a, a lady uh, on the YouTube made a video that oh this is not elegant elegant ladies don't wear it but I think confident and ladies who know that they don't want to ruin their feet and you know low uh, low button shoes because I had them before 
and the girls who who have their own you know budget to spend uh, they do spend on Bottega because I think it's it's such a good brand in terms of quality and the leather is just the best so I think I love anything in by Bottega so please if you want to give me gifts uh, it could be Bottega yeah so I got these on my birthday and it was in London no it was not in London it was in Manchester and it was Selfridges and I liked actually I loved a selection in the store because it was not super big and I believe I tried these in pink I didn't buy it back then but then I went in another day and I saw that they had a purple so I was not super sure about pink but pink in shoes usually work works really well for me I used to have a pair of uh, Lang sandal by um, Jimmy Choo, it was the most worn shoe for me. I would just like wear all black and a pink sandal, that was perfect. Uh, so the idea is similar and I could wear it with jeans. I wore it so many times already this year that it's actually started scuffing on the metallic. I love it. It might not like su look super elegant. So for styling, I would use something else. I would rather than use like Zara or Mango shoes. But for wearing and uh, when I go out, I know that I will be comfortable in this and it has a grip that when you walk uh, you don't feel you know out of balance it's just like so so great that's why I can recommend uh, anybody to check out Bottega Veneta you know shoes also pure pure joy and for me if it's a good joy good pleasure I like seeing it every day that is a good investment for shoes yeah you need to wear it for a few seasons to cop for cost per wear to be what you want but I, I definitely know that it would be <laughs> it would be that and the last item is this a uh, really cute bag that you've seen on my Instagram already but I didn't make a video about it yet it's a uh, Hermes Picotin size 18 so in March uh, I decided that it was time to sell my uh, Hermes Kelly because I wanted to change the leather I wanted to try something in Togo leather probably size 25 or Birkin uh, 25 or 30 with palladium hardware. I had really specific uh, requirement that I was looking for. And one other color that I was considering would be, um, it was the old name of uh, Blue Jean. Actually very similar, but a bit more muted. So because I live in the UAE, I thought black might be not the best color. It's just like not something that I wear so much in terms of when I wear bags and blue uh, with like black outfits when you wear a lot of black clothes i think blue looks really good and uh, when i was much younger i had a blue bag in a similar color and i was surprised how well it works uh, all year round in winter and in summer but you need to be like more confident i guess um, if you want to wear something that bright so um, i decided like when i sold my kelly there was another bag uh, that it was a birkin in my uh pre like pre perfect combination it was jean blue it was size 30. Uh, it was on the, one of the japanese websites and my car didn't go through uh, I, there was some security issue or some stock issue basically it didn't happen so I was like okay if it's not happening then I got my Loewe bags and I was really happy with those my uh, Kelly was gone uh, but I did send my uh, you know Hermes uh, essay my specifications that you know if you have something like a maybe a Picatin maybe a Lindy uh, something that is blue with uh, white hardware and she surprised me with this I was after my birthday so it was not a birthday uh, thing it was later but I, I'm so happy I think the color is uh, called blue du nord it's a bit more bright but I it does bring me a lot of joy and uh, I think these even if you go for um, the resale market, they're not overly expensive and um, they are made in a really nice way that they should last you long. They have the feet, so even if you put it on the resale market, you will probably get your money back. Uh, the only um, you know downside is that it doesn't have a long strap. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take it traveling with me, but for 
well, for here, for where I live, for what I do, it's just, it's just great. So yeah, I hope this was useful for you and explain how I uh, do make my decisions when it uh, comes to luxury purchases, cost per wear, versatility, um, you know, and just, you know, enjoyment of what you have. So I hope this was useful. Please leave me a comment on your favorite purchase of um, this year or past year. And I'll see you soon. Bye.